Hello everyone, welcome back, Severed is here, coming back with part 4 of What if Deku had half and half cork? Now where we last left off, Izuka has gone in a fight against Shoto Todoroki and after he finally left the place and managed to defeat her, she has gone of course into the office of her father, Endeavor. In the end, Endeavor start talking with her uh, after that she got angry and say just to, you know, come out of the place. As right now we continue, but don't forget to like, subscribe, my discord down in the description, and let's get right into it. As Izuku right now getting out of a, of course, getting ready to go into UA after, you know, what's happened with him last uh, day. As after that he just walking with Baku and, you know, going to UA as Baku said, So are you serious? She just were throwing ice at you? She really hates you that much? As Izuku said, yeah, I really doesn't know what's in her mind. She just were. I, I, I mean, I was lucky that I didn't become an ice cream or something like that. Seriously, I still, you know, having some ice shards inside my clothes from the fight. She was so fucking angry. I doesn't even know why the hell she hates me that much. As Buck said, <laughs> finally, a girl that hates you. I didn't think that I was gonna live until I see that day, as Izuku said, yeah, but I kinda really can't remember how the fight really goes, it was, there was so much things happening around and I was kinda a little bit tired, so I really can't remember remember so much, as Buck said, yeah, whatever, let's just go into UA, and after that, Izuku has finally gotten to UA. As he go inside and finally got into the class. As after that, he just, you know, looking behind, he see just Shoto sitting down on her desk. Looking on Izuku, as Izuku going back to look in front of him and Baku on his left said, Hey, is she still looking at you? As Izuku said, yeah, she's still. As after that, Baku looking behind and said, Hey, you! F hey, you! Icy Hot! Stop looking at him! What the wrong, what the fuck is wrong with you? Do you have some problems? As after that, Izuku said, Bakugo! As after that, Todoroki just taking a you know, a book out of her back and starts reading. As Baku said, Yeah! Don't look at him! T whatever, fucking uh, icy hot asshole! As Izuku said, Well, thanks for helping, I guess. As Baku said, You need to be a little bit more aggressive, you know? As Izuku said, <laughs> Aggressive? Like you, as Buck said, yeah, just like me. Look, I'm awesome. As Izuku said, I wasn't going to go for the world, for the word awesome when I saw you first time. As Buck said, yeah, whatever. After that, <laughs> immediately Aizawa come into the class and said, would you fucking shut up? Well, whatever. Good morning, class. I am uh, Shota Aizawa, and today we're gonna do a special kind of training. So. For this training, I, you know, I'm not be the one to teach you, but instead, as after that, they start hearing a sound from the hallway, and they start seeing some sort of a light through, you know, just feeling a little bit out of heat, as immediately the door opened up, revealing the number two hero Endeavor, as after that, everyone just seeing Endeavor, they are quiet, as after that, I Aizawa said, well, All Might was supposed to... <clears throat> Be the one to help us train today but Endeavor has decided to see the future class 1A and the future heroes of Japan so he decided to be the one to take care of this training today as after that he, you know uh, she, of course Kirishima said um did, he, did you really did this Mr. Endeavor as after that Endeavor look at uh, you know of course <laughs> Kirishima said yes I want to see what can all of you do, and what is your powers, I want to see who will be the future heroes, and the future generations of heroes. So, everyone, today we will gonna do, do a special training, a heroes versus villains training if you would say. Now, uh, go into your locker rooms and change into your hero outfits, as he immediately press on a button opening the walls around the place. Or you know, in the of course the class, as they see only some bags that filled with the you know their hero outfits. As he said, each bags of these you know 
bags have one, one of your hero outfits inside of them. Everyone taking uh, one of one of the bags as the number of you know as your number. As after that, everyone just taking their numbers, and in the end, everyone just changing their hero outfits. Izuku hero outfits. I'm really not thinking about it. Um, you know why the hell would he even wear a hero outfit? Let's just say that he wears something like <laughs> I don't know really. Just a, a black t-shirt for now. We will just gonna say that his hero outfit is not complete yet. As after that, Izuku, you know, just start, you know, standing with everyone else uh, by the side of Bakugo. As after, after that, Endeavor said, well, uh, the training will be as this. I'm gonna choose two of you to be against another two of you. There will be a hero zone of villains. The villains mission is to protect a bomb that's inside that building and the hero's mission is to stop the villains by capturing the bomb you know touching the bomb or capturing the both of the villains all right now the fourth ever for the first match it will be izuku midoriya and shoto todoroki against katsuki bakugo and aoyama as after that immediately izuku you know looking at todoroki as Doroki just getting a little bit angry and after that Izuku's just uh, thinking to himself saying ah great she I'm gonna go with her damn it why the hell did he even put me with this wait a second is this all just a big plan of endeavor that he just want me to put to put me with her with his daughter what the fuck is wrong with him and why the hell is he even here in the first place as after that Endeavor said, well, everyone else, go into the camera's room. As after that, <laughs> immediately. As after that, Izuku and Todoroki right now outside of the building. As, of course, Todoroki wearing her own hero outfit, which is basically a white suit. You know, in the end, Izuku said, so what is the plan? As Todoroki said, stay out of my way. As after that, Izuku said, you know that we have to do a plan. We can just go inside. I know that you hate me and I actually really doesn't know why, but can we just make a plan? As Todoroki said, the plan here is that you are gonna leave me to take care of this. Alright, as Izuku said, alright Ice Queen, let's see what you will gonna do. As after that, when the match start, Todoroki immediately froze the whole building. As after that, he, she start waiting for the announce of the, of course, the villain team to be defeated since they are stuck in the ice as after that she only hear explosions and Izuku said well looks like that your plan has gone down hills right as Todoroki said whatever just stay out of my way as Izuku said look I know we might hate each other I really doesn't know why you hate me but can we please start a new page start from zero to you know, just introduce ourselves. I'm gonna start. My name is Izuku Midoriya. My quirk is half and half. Your name, as Todoroki, you know, said, my name is not important. What's important right now is that you stay out of my way, electric boy. As after that, Izuku said, you are really such a headache, really, such a hard headache person. As after that. Todoroki immediately turned on Izuku as she's throwing ice wave at him. If, you know, immediately after that, Izuku tried to dodge this attack, but he being thrown out of the building by the a wave of the ice. As after that, Todoroki coming out of the building and said, "said say that again." As after that, Izuku said, "What's wrong with you? Can't we just focus on our fight?" As after that, Todoroki said, "But I am focusing on my fight." As she immediately throwing much more ice on Izuku. Izuku dodging this into the left and after that Aizawa and the camera's room said they are fighting against each other. Should we stop them? Endeavor. As Endeavor said no. I want to see what's will gonna happen. After that Todoroki continued throwing much more ice on Izuku as he just dodging into the left and the right as he said we are wasting time out of here. Can we just go inside and take care of them? You know, we are in, in the first in the same team, right? As Todoroki said, I don't care. As after that, she just continued throwing ice on Izuku. As Izuku said, Fine. If you want it this way, then the hard way it is. As he immediately putting his right hand on the ground, but 
immediately before he managed to continue doing anything. He, Todoroki immediately frees Izuku's right arm as Todoroki said, Do you really think that I didn't learn from the last time? As immediately after that, she's shooting uh, another wave of ice on Izuku. But before the wave of ice hitting Izuku immediately, an explosion being thrown in front of the ice uh, mountain. As after that, when the smoke clears, Todoroki should see in front of her only Bakugo standing in front of the Izuku as Izuku said, Ah, uh, Bakugo? As Bakugo said, What the fuck is happening with you here, Deku? Uh, I know that, I knew that you will not gonna go that easy on him, right? I knew that there was something happening between you and her. As after that, Izuku said, Can you just please help me and after that we can talk? As Bakugo said, Alright, as Bakugo just throwing an explosion on Izuku's frozen arm to free it. As he said, so, do you care to tell me what the hell is happening? As Izuku said, Todoroki, can we just g go back into the fight? As Todoroki said, no, as she immediately throwing much more ice on Izuku. And after that, Baku said, you really are a bitch. I was so excited to fight Deku again. And, and now you are just throwing in my chances to fight him and beating the loving shit out of him. Zeh, you really are an asshole. As she immediately throwing more ice on Bakugo, as Baku starts throwing explosion in front of him to destroy the ice. After that, Izuku said, Bakugo, get out of the way, as Baku immediately jump into the air and Izuku, taking his left arm out, immediately th uh, throwing like a wave of wind on Todoroki, as Todoroki being pushed back into the wall, and after that, Baku throwing an explosion at it. As Aoyama is just watching from, you know, inside the building, as he said, ah, this is, what's happening here between those two? As, after that, Izuku said, ah, this is really so annoying. Is this even counts as the, the, the I mean, this, does this exam even start, still, uh, you know, working or something like that? As, after that, Baku said, I don't know, but this is certainly more fun than just waiting for you to come into the, into the into the bomb room as after that Todoroki immediately said get out of my way explosion head as after that Bok said you attacked my friend so you're pro you having a problem with me I am the only one that's having the right to blow the shit out of Deku face so get out of here or I'm gonna blow yours as after that Todoroki said fine as she immediately taking her left arm out as she throw a wave of fire on, of course, Bakugo. Izuku immediately pushing Bakugo out of the way and start protecting himself using wind shield in front of him. As after that, Todoroki just throwing more fire on Izuku, and Izuku still in the middle of the flames. As in the end, she just stopped, and after that, she just see Izuku in front of her, still with the you know his clothes start to burn and. He starts, you know, breathing heavily as he immediately fall on the ground with two degrees burns. As Baku said, "What the fuck did you do?" As after that, he go on, of course, to Doroki to explode her. But immediately, Aizawa got hold of him using his scarf as he said, "All right, that's enough, to Doroki. You will gonna go into the principal office now." Ba Baku go help me take Izuku into the nurse office. As after that, Baku said, eh, "Whatever." As he immediately starts helping Aizawa getting him into the nurse office. While Todoroki is being scolded for what she did. As after that, Izuku waking up as he said, What's the fuck happened again? Why am I here? As after that, the nurse, uh, you know, the recovery girl said, Well, he's finally awake. As Buck said, Hey, Deku. As after that, Izuku said, Ah, Buck, girl, what's happened? As Buck said, well, you pushed me out of the flames, and after that, you just got two degrees burns on yourself. As Izuku just looking on him, his body, seeing some bandages around some places. As Izuku said, Ah, so. Ah, damn it. I believe that we are lost the exam. As Boku said, Well, I really doesn't know. Aizawa told me that if Boku got, you know, if you and the. Uh, Todoroki has fought that mean that I am the winner, but I'm not really taking it. I wanted really to fight you, and I got to fight that fucking half and half icy hot girl. As after that, Izuku said, eh, whatever. We will gonna get our chance later, as Buck said, yeah, I hope so. As after that, Aizawa come into the, of course, the room and said, hey, Midori, are you okay? As Izuku said, yeah, I'm okay. As after that, Aizawa said, 
I, th I think that Bakugo should leave now. I have some things to talk with Izuka about, so can you leave Bakugo? As Baku said, ah, alright. And after that, Baku just leave the room as Aizawa said, now fucking tell me what's, what's happening between you and Todoroki. As Izuka said, I really doesn't know, she just really hate me for some weird reason. As Aizawa said, really, that's all? She hates you for some weird reason? As Izuka said, yeah, that's the... That's what's happening. I really doesn't know why the hell she attacking me or why the hell she, you know, just so angry about me. But she just so angry. I really doesn't know why. As after that, I said, "All right, take good care of yourself and uh, stay here for tonight because the recovery girl will gonna help you to recover very soon." As Izuku said, "All right, but what about my mom?" As Aizawa said, don't worry, I already told her about your injuries and that you will gonna stay here for the night. As after that, Aizawa just leave the room as a couple of minutes goes by and in the end, of course, Endeavor come into the place as Endeavor said, hey Midori, are you okay? As Izuku said, what do you want now? You just put me with your daughter and look what happened to me. As after that, Endeavor said, yeah, I know. That was a mistake. And I am up and uh, I want to give you my apologies for what's happened. So, I wish that nothing uh, that will not going to change anything between us and that you will going to still go into my agency to train as Izuku said. All right, but please don't just put me with her, your daughter anymore. I just doesn't want to see her. Why she even hate me? Do you know why she hates me? As Endeavor said, I told you, I really doesn't know. But I hope that you will gonna get uh, s uh, cured very soon and will gonna stand up on your feet again uh, in, uh, in a short time. So see you tomorrow. As after that, Endeavor just get out of the room. After that, Izuku said, whatever. What a weird thing. What, she, what does she even want from me? After that, Izuku just sleeping for the night in the, of course, the recovery office, recovery girl office, or you know, the hospital inside UA or whatever. In the end, <laughs> the next day, the recovery girl finally has managed to make Izuku go back on his feet, but he still has some bandages around his arms, as right now he inside the class. And after that, Aizawa said, "Well, good morning, class." Today we are gonna go into a little trip, so yeah, everyone, you have the choice if you want to, of course, wear your hero outfits or your school gym uniforms. So I really doesn't care. Just wear whatever you like, so just meet me outside at this soon as possible. And if any one of you got late, I'm gonna fucking make him run behind the boss. As after that, I saw just get out of their class. The class, and after that, all the class 1A start going into the changing room. In the end, Izuku changing into just his uh, gym uniform because his hero outfit is not ready yet, and he will never gonna be ready because I doesn't have any idea what his hero outfit should be, and I'm not gonna even care to make made him a hero outfit or to find him something suitable. In the end, Izuku right now on the bus just sitting by the side of Bakugo. As after that, Tsui said, "Well." I was wondering who's the strongest person in our class. But as after that, Kirishima said, "Oh yeah, that's actually a good question. Well, if I would say so of myself, I would have said that it might be, you know, Bak Baku bro or maybe Izuku." As after that, uh, you know, everyone starts wondering, saying, "Well, Izuku have such an, uh, you know, a great ability, uh, wind and electricity." As CU said, yeah Midoriya, you actually have such a great ability indeed, Herbert. But uh, I was wondering, can you make a storm? As Izuku said, um, a storm? As, you know, Kirishima said, yeah, you know, like covering the sky with black, uh, you know, s uh, clouds. And after that, just throwing a fucking electric s shock from the sky down on someone. As Izuku said, huh, I actually never tried to do that. Well, that's actually a good idea. Maybe I'm gonna keep this for later. As Baku said, Duh, fucking idiot. 
Now he will just gonna try to make a new move. Great. As after that, you know, just get. Of course, it, you know, Tidoroki just sitting by in the back of the, the you know, bus. In the end, Aizawa said, "Well, class, we got into the place. Everyone get down." As everyone starts coming out of the bus, and immediately they just go inside the USJ. As they they meet with the, of course, the hero number thirteen. And Izuku actually, you know, standing by the side of Bakugo. In the end, Izuku is still, you know, listening into what 13 says, but immediately he hear Kirishima said, Wow, I didn't know that there is a fake villains here. So cool. As after that, Izuku and Bakugo sa said on the same time, Fake villains? As after that, Aizawa looking back, he see someone covered with hands and a... You know, someone covered with hands coming out of a black mist portal as a big creature looks like a, a you know, a black creature with a, a bird head to say the least has coming out of the portal with a guy that made out of mist. As after that, Aizawa said, Those are not villain, those are not fake villains, those are real. 13, protect the student. And after that, 13 stand in front of the students as immediately after that. Of course, <laughs> Kirigori teleported in front of everyone as he said, Well, good morning, Class 1A. My name is Kirigori and we are the League of Villains. And this one gonna leave it off, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you think about this part. And what do you think will gonna happen in the next part? Well, I have nothing more to say than Savage was here.